Well, Planned Parenthood and local Democrats are usually friends when it comes to how they feel about the issue of abortion. But tonight, the organization is in a war of words with one Memphis lawmaker. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Today, Planned Parenthood announced a billboard campaign against John DeBerry after he sided with Republicans on two anti-abortion measures. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in Midtown Memphis right now where you can uh, see one of those ads. Brad? Yeah, Richard and Katina, this digital billboard and two others across Memphis will put Representative D. Barry on blast for those recent votes on those abortion matters. And Planned Parenthood leaders said they're also open to potentially having a primary challenger against him next year. Representative D. Barry, meanwhile, this afternoon, pushing back and defending his record. This is an attack on everyone who might or can get pregnant. Those with Tennessee advocates for Planned Parenthood didn't mince their words as they honed in on one local lawmaker. Over the last few months, Tennessee Representative John D. Berry, a Memphis Democrat, has made terrible decisions. This group is upset Representative D. Berry recently signed it with state Republicans to support two abortion-related bills this spring. One would ban the procedure after a fetal heartbeat is detected. The other would trigger a statewide abortion ban if the Supreme Court reverses Roe versus Wade. He doesn't trust that a woman should make her own private health decisions. This afternoon, D. Berry fired back. They want to pigeonhole me and, and to make folks think that I'm something that I'm not, that I'm some crazy religious zealot up on Capitol Hill, and that's not true. The 12 term lawmaker said he stands by his views on abortion and won't be influenced by outside organizations. If we're going to have a democracy, we need to debate the issues. Not one time, not once, has Planned Parenthood sat down with me and debated this issue. Now, it should be noted that two other Democratic lawmakers in the House of Representatives in Tennessee, including Joe Towns of Memphis, so voted in support for that fetal heartbeat bill. And Planned Parenthood leaders said they're considering potentially putting those other two lawmakers on blast, similar to Representative DeBerry. Meanwhile, that fetal heartbeat bill will be picked up again this summer by the state Senate during the summer study session. Reporting live in Midtown Memphis, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.